In this lesson, we are going to be assuming you are driving on the right hand side. So what's the first thing you notice? There are three things when you align the roundabout that are affected. One is the deflection, the second is the speed, and the third is the radius. So you will find that as you align in the roundabout either to the left or to the right or to the center, you are affecting the deflection, the speed, and the radius. So what do you notice? What do you notice? First of all, let's say when you align the roundabout to the left hand side. So what you're going to notice is when you align the roundabout to the left hand side, we have more deflection than when you align the roundabout to the center and to the right hand side. So you're going to find that when you align the roundabout to the left, when you're driving on the right hand side, we have more deflection when you're aligning to the left than when, you, than when you're aligning to the center and we'll have the least deflection when you're aligning to the right hand side. And what will this do? You find that since we have less deflection on the right, we are also going to end up having a much bigger radius. So as a result of that, what you're going to find on the left hand side, we are going to end up having a much smaller radius. We can end up having a much smaller radius, which allows for less speed. So what you're going to find that rather than vehicles, if vehicles are moving around a tighter curve, they achieve a much less speed than when they are moving straight onwards. Okay, so you shall find that vehicles that are moving when a roundabout is aligned to the left, because the radius is much smaller and the deflection is much more, you can control the speed as you come into the roundabout. And this is what we call the entrance speed. When you look at the center, it's a much less value. So we have a much bigger radius than when you're aligning to the left. And it means vehicles will move slightly faster as they enter the roundabout. If you look at when you align the roundabout to the right, it's because we have the least deflection means we have a much larger radius and vehicles are going to move much faster. So why is this very important? To ensure speed consistency on a roundabout, it's always recommended to have a small difference between the speed at which cars are entering the roundabout, speed at which cars are circulating around the roundabout, and speed at which cars exceed the roundabout. If you look at the roundabout informal guide, the recommendation is that you should have a difference between 10 to 15 miles per hour, which equates roughly to 20 to 25 kilometers per hour. So let's assume you are entering with 50 kilometers per hour. It's always recommended to have a difference at least of 15 to 20 kilometers per hour. Now, what's the goal here? To conclude, you shall find that when you align the roundabout to the left, you have more deflection, which means less radius, which means less speed compared to the center. Now, what are the different disadvantages of these different options? As I mentioned earlier, you shall find that when you align the roundabout to the center, what's going to happen and what you end up going to find having is that you will have much deflection than when you align the roundabout to the left. And normally this is the most recommended way of aligning the roundabout. So the first method we're going to look at is the center in detail. So we are assuming one, you are aligning the roundabout to the center. Now the center is more of a balance of the left and right. And it's most clearly the most aesthetically pleasing. So you shall find that you have equal deflection on the left, the same as on the right. So most cases you find that people who tend to, around, to align the roundabout to the center because the deflection is almost equal so you end up having almost similar radius on both the exit and the entrance at the same time. So you find that this is the option while looking at the center. So you shall find that uh, people align the roundabout to the center because it's aesthetically pleasing. You have both equal deflection on both the entrance and on the exit. And you shall find that one of the cons of this is that you end up needing a much larger radius. So because you are trying to maintain a much, because you want to control the deflection, to have a much better deflection, you find that people who tend to look at the roundabout on the center who tend to need a much larger radius. So because this has balanced 
elements, we are going to look at now the left, aligning the roundabout to the right. So what happens when you align the roundabout to the right? As I mentioned earlier, what you shall find that you have much less, much less deflection means vehicles move at a much higher speed and means you have a much larger radius. So what are some of the, the cons? We're looking at this. So one of the cons is as a result of this, you find that you have less control over the entry speed, okay? Which means, as a result, you end up having larger radii. It may not be safe for pedestrians who are, who are crossing at the entrance. Then another is you find that large vehicles can struggle to maneuver So as a result, because your deflection is very, very large, you shall find that there are situations whereby large vehicles have struggled to maneuver around this. And as a result, you're going to end up finding that in most of these situations, you're going to need a very large inscribed diameter. Large vehicles are struggling to to maneuver, you're going to end up finding you're going to need a much larger radius. So what are some of the pros? The pros is you have more control on the exit. So this is the reverse of what's happening. Um, you shall find that because now you have more deflection on the exit, it's much easier to control the exit speed. And also on the exit, you have more of pedestrians. Our main goal is trying to ensure we control the entrance and minimize our impact on the exit. And again, at the same, you find that vehicles uh, easily maneuver on the exit, large vehicles. And this is much easier to control uh, based on how you design the exit. Our main issue is to try and always ensure the cars enter the roundabout much safer and they can exit at a much safer pace. So we are going to look at lining the roundabout to the left hand side. As I mentioned earlier on, you find that you have more deflection on the entrance. As a result, um, if you have to look at the pros now, the pros, you have control. You have control of the entrance speed. This is as a result because you have more deflection and a much smaller radius, okay? You find that it's easy to make large vehicles to maneuver as a result of this. And you shall find that um, this is very good in areas where you have a small inscribed diameter, okay? When you are in situations where you find that you have a much smaller, smaller diameter, it's always and always encouraged to follow this. So what are some of the cons? These are the reverse. Again, you have um, less control on the exit. On the exit, and this is as a result of much larger deflection and a much larger radius so they long for the large vehicles you can always try finding or making them maneuver so it's not so much of a challenge the main takeaway from this lesson is that it's always recommended to align your roundabout to the center or to the left hand side if you're driving on the right hand side this helps you reduce the control on the entrance which might minimizes the speed difference between traffic entering the roundabout and traffic circulating on the roundabout. Now, it, this is not the only way in which you can minimize the entrance speed and the circulating speed. In future, in the next coming lessons, you are going to learn about the different ways in which you can always ensure you control this speed. So what if you're in a situation whereby someone has asked you, if you have four arms, what's the best angle at which to align them? 
It's normally recommended to have something around 90 degrees. So it's always good to have 90 degrees. But there are situations where you have more than four arms. And in this case, it's recommended to align the arms at roughly 72 degrees. So if you have five arms, try and align them at 72 degrees. So now in conclusion, when you're aligning the roundabout, always align it to the left or to the center. And when you're aligning the angles for the roundabout, always ensure they're aligned at 90 degrees or 72 degrees in case they are five arms. Now in the next lesson, we are going to look at entry curve radius, the exit curve radius, and the approach curve radius. These three red eye determine the speed at which the car comes into the roundabout, circulates around the roundabout, and then exits around the roundabout. When you have aligned the roundabout well, you should always make sure you have very good entry, exit, and approach curve red eye. I hope to see you in the next lesson, and thanks for your attention.